hey it's a beautiful day welcome welcome back i'm the dope lady and i'm so glad that y'all are here i have another message for you this is for my divine feminines remember take what resonates and leave what does not okay the shoe doesn't fit don't put it on okay don't force it all right you can do as you please and put them energies where they need to go okay but i appreciate y'all for being here thank y'all for your likes your shares your comments your subscribes i appreciate you all okay I just want to get a life is like a song real quick um, for my divine feminists. Let me get a song for our divine feminists. Ooh. Okay, divine feminine superstar. You superstar. I'm getting Aquarius energy. I'll be your groovy baby. Hey, okay. Superstar. What's going on with my superstar? Let's see. Ooh, now I'm in. Get a superstar. That is what you are. Okay. Reaching for the stars. Come away with me to another place. And then we'll lie in each other's arms. What I'm gonna do without you. I, I might have messed up the lyrics, but anyway. So you a superstar, Divine Feminine. What's going on? What do my Divine Feminines need to know? Give me some overall energy for my Divine Feminines. Overall energy for Divine Feminines. Okay, the chariot. Okay, cancer energy moving forward. All right, big boss energy. All right, you... you moving in your power you doing what's necessary you taking things and in, matters into your hands i like this energy for you so you could be traveling maybe some of you uh going somewhere i don't know some kind of long distance um trip or something some of you are nurses cnas uh doctors something like that all right what's going on with divine feminine you working a lot <laughs> you moving a lot Okay, why is this? Ten of Wands. Hold on, wait a minute. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Ooh, Divine Feminine. Okay, Eight of Wands. And then you have Nine of Wands. Wow. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So y'all working a lot and saving your money. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Okay, so y'all, yeah, y'all, you could have been at a period of rest recently, Divine Feminine. I feel like y'all, y'all gotten up or maybe you guys stopped working. Hmm. Yeah, some of you definitely do something in the medical field here. Some of y'all work too much. Why is the four of pentacles here? Why is the four of pentacles here? Hmm. Ace of uh, swords at the bottom. Tell me more about this. I feel like someone came to you and gave you an offer. Hold on. The tower just fell out. Is this past or present? Is this past energy? Okay, so somebody came... And gave you an offer. Somebody came. Mm. So you regarded to work. So something. Somebody came and gave you an offer. Some of you could have got scammed or something like that. Somebody did something. Um, 
somebody it was some kind of illusion uh that you were a part of if somebody said they were gonna do something for you and they didn't something fell through something like that something like that to learn from you let's see They need something. So you have an emperor here. An Aries. This person could be waiting on you. Or maybe you turn your back. Oh no, you turn your back on this person. Yeah. So you could have ended something with an Aries, okay? Hmm. Oh, then, unless that's you. Look, Ten of Wands again. Something was like too much. It was like a lot going on. Wheel of Fortune and the King of Swords. Yeah, something forced you to cut something out. Um, yeah, I feel like it was a relationship though with this Ace of Cups because it could have been the Pentacle. You have a little tower at the bottom here. What? What happened? Okay, Virgo energy with the hermit. So this person could have ghosted you. There's some pentacles at the bottom. Somebody lied about something here. And they had it had them like I feel like somebody like it's like somebody ran off on the plug almost. Like if that makes any sense like somebody said okay you give me this amount of money and i'm gonna go flip it and they didn't they did leave virgin energy here at the bottom i feel like you're gonna get you'll get justice for this you'll be redeemed for this um yeah look that card came back out. the justice card came back out so i feel like yeah you're gonna get justice for this you're gonna get news about this whatever this is somebody spited you somebody did something it could have caused you to lose out on some money if you invested in something and you took a loss on something. You're gonna, you're gonna be uh, rewarded, or I don't know. Take it how it resonates, though. I don't know the details exactly, okay? But it's something like that. I feel like it caused you to lose out. It caused you to kind of be, kind of struggle a little bit. If you gambled, or some of you could have gambled, okay? You didn't want nobody to know that you gambled your money away, okay? If you gambled, like let's say you went to the casino and you gambled your rent money, I don't know, bill money, I don't know. But somebody, I feel like somebody ran off though with your money. Somebody could have literally stole something from you. And so you had to work extra hard. And now you're moving or something like that. I don't know. Just expect some good news. I hate that you went through that. That's terrible. You know what I'm saying? Yikes. Like, what? This is just for the divine feminine energy. Nothing or no sign in particular. We all have good energies. We operate in one more than the other. Why is it definitely here? Y'all hear that sound? I feel like somebody could be trying to get your attention. Tower here again. Yeah, look, this is the attention card. It looks like somebody is having to either stand their ground, defend themselves, or they just receiving a bunch of attention from someone else, from a bunch of other people down here, because they on the platform a little bit higher than the people down there. So they standing their ground here. So someone could definitely be wanting to come in and give you some attention, or I don't know what this is. Yep, look, this could be somebody that you recently cut off or something. I don't know if it's past energy, but look, we'll see. Somebody's coming in with an offer. Somebody been thinking about this, planning this. Divine feminine. Oh, this is good energy right here. Ten of pentacles. Somebody will. Oh, this is good. Somebody really, really, really wants to come in and give you something here. It could have been your birthday or something. 
Yeah, they see you as the star, the superstar. Like I told y'all in the beginning, it was giving me star energy. Wow, I love when that happened. I'll be your groovy baby. Hey. Ooh, why ate the swords here? Somebody, ooh, somebody is, was really in their mind about how you cut them off. Cause I'm hearing it's all in my head and I think about it over and over again. And I keep picturing you with him. And it hurts so bad. And I'm all in my head and I think about it over and over again. So somebody really wants this with you, really. Hey. Look, you this card had came out early with the other day, right? Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior here, okay? Somebody that's been through some things. They've been through a lot. They've had to fight and like prove themselves and like and then we have the um Knight of Cups. So somebody here is definitely coming through here with a with an offer. They got they come to express their feelings here. This person can feel like they're being guided to do this, or this is just fated to happen, okay, with the wheel of fortune here at the bottom. All right. Somebody is feeling like luck is on their side. This person could have had to really go into a deep dive, take some rest, and kind of just really just get out of their head, you know. And now they're in this energy here um, where they're clear, you know, on what they want to say. Um, I'm hearing like they've had to make a head over heart decision, yeah. Despite how they feel and the pain that they have had in the past. Or this is you. Okay, somebody has definitely gone through a lot here. They've experienced the ultimate betrayal here. Like this person. But it don't get no worse than this, okay? After this, you pretty much this. <laughs> All right, so somebody here could be very cold, you know. They're straight to the point. They don't really play their games. Like, they don't really show their feelings a lot, you know. Um, This person could also work um in tech. All right? This person could be an engineer, a lawyer. I did say doctor, didn't I, earlier? Okay, this could be you. Yeah, this person definitely does um, some. This could, person could be a mentor or something like that. Um, a teacher, an artist, or this is you. Yeah, we have this. Somebody's coming in, in, in to make something right. This could even be an apology. Yeah, somebody's feeling positive, uh, enthusiastic, happy, thrilled, I'm here, you know, to come towards you. Um, I'm here to surprise you. Yeah, they've been somebody's been waiting, thinking about reaching out, messaging you or calling you. Somebody's name is Corey. Corey. Yeah. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here. This is good. This is great news. This is a big new blessing here. Okay, this is something that, um, let me see, what's the Ace of Pentacles? This is something you can see, touch, taste, smell, feel. Okay. Oh, this is a surprise. So you, <laughs> this, 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 I mean, there's a blessing in the storm. So all this stuff that you went through, you know, it was for nothing. Okay, it was not for nothing. Okay. All this was a, a a setback for a setup for you, okay? This is this is all of that was experience for you, okay? Like I said, you may be wounded, but you are a wounded warrior, okay? There is nothing that you cannot overcome, all right? It, it, that's what it is. You may have even broken some bones and stuff, okay? For some of you, all right? But you have healed, and you have healed from these things and the snares that pe the enemy has sent against you and the things that people have said about you. These people are now going to have to watch you heal. These people are going to have to watch you be in this victorious mode here, watch you receive your blessings here, okay? Whatever this blessing is that's hidden, okay? This is Pisces energy here as well, okay? Um... Whatever this blessing is that's coming in, you're going to be celebrating with your friends and family, okay? You're going to be feeling look good. Oh, my mama. Oh, my. <laughs> Listen, you're going to be feeling. Look, look, there it is. What I, look, this, is, this was your energy in the beginning. This is the same card, the chariot, okay? So, listen. You got you guys are go, you guys are going to be look at it. Then you got the king and the, and the queen of wands there. Then you got a, a king and a queen together. 
people of power, people of action, people of passion, spiritual people. Okay, so divine feminine, listen. So there's still some other things that you have to overcome here. There's still some spiritual lessons and things that, you know, you are, are going to experience. All right. Life ain't over. But you have gone through some things here and you are a superstar. You are a superstar. You shine bright. Stars shine. People marvel at the stars, don't they? Whether they're above or, or below. Right? Tell me more. Come on. Then you got the divine masculine here, the emperor. Okay, Aries energy. All right, with the seven of cups. Let's see. The emperor came out earlier, didn't it? That person who's um, with that business thing. Let's see, with the illusion. Well, this could, this could be this person thinking about you. This emperor here could be thinking about you. Here. Oh, yeah, king of pentacles energy. Yeah, this person has a business. Ooh, this person coming towards you with this eight of wands. You got the, you already had them out there, divine feminine. Somebody coming. Yep, somebody coming for their wife. Look, king and queen of pentacles with the uh, page of cups. Unless this is you with something to say. Somebody got a lot to say. Look, coming through for the stability. The engagement, the harmony, the new home. Look, there go that wand. All right, a new passionate beginning here. Something, a new spiritual beginning here, a new journey. All right, spiritual, this she's very intuitive here. So somebody here is, look, then here go to, so y'all are definitely the divine feminine and the divine masculine here, okay? This this man, okay, whoever this person is that's coming towards you, um, divine feminine. He said it, I'll be your groovy baby, because you are my superstar. I'm your number one fan, give me your autograph, sign it right on my heart. Listen, he said, I'll be your groupie. He said, I just want to show you how super you are. This person, this man, this child. Let me get the Romeo and Juliet real quick for my divine family. Let's see. Confessions of love. Say I love you. Y'all know that part of the, what is in the name that which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. Ooh. Listen. Confirmation. Okay. We have forced marriage, loss of freedom, excessive interference. Ooh, hold on. Who's this? So y'all could have had people trying to block this connection. This person could have had somebody trying to block them from coming, from y'all two coming together. But you're the dream lover. Dream lover, come rescue me. Mm. Won't you please come around? Because I want to share forever with you, baby. What? Then it says prophecy, hint, guidance, oracle, reveal, symbolize. So you could have seen this person in a dream or this person could have seen you or had a vision about you. Like I said, y'all are intuitive people. Y'all connect on the ethos, baby. Y'all connect on the spiritual realm. Y'all have been together in many, many past lives before. And now this person is coming into your life again. They find you in every lifetime. Dream lover, come rescue me. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh, look, it's like time to say goodbye. What they saying goodbye to? Ooh. You got an appointment here. Engagement, marriage proposal. Yeah, baby, say goodbye to your old life because this new one about to be fantastic. Look, somebody just hit this person to come in and woo-woo you, baby. They're about to come in and... All right now. Yeah, so calm down, listen to your inner voice. Reduce your anxiety here with this Ten of Wands energy here and this Nine of Wands and Eight of Wands energy here, okay? Because this person is eager to come in with this action with this Eight with this Eight of Wands here. This Pentacle, this King of Pentacles coming in, baby. Coming in. They are determined. I just 
almost had a reading where something was like that. So don't resist this, okay? Follow your heart. Let this, listen now. It says fatherly love. Hmm. So this, yeah, this is definitely a father here. The king of pentacles, he's definitely a father. So is the emperor. Father of many, father too many. All right, even if he don't have kids of his own. Oh, so y'all could be um, going to like a little ball or something. It says, go girl, seek happy nights to happy days. Nay, gentle Romeo, you, we must have you dance. Yeah, so seek, look for the happy things. Like, have fun, go out. If that man coming at you out, girl, you better go on that date. Divine Feminine. Let that man take you to the park and feed you. And you feed him too. All right? Look, y'all flirt now. Nah. I'm a flirt. All right, anyway. Go ahead now. Nah. Cupid doesn't lie. But you won't know unless you give it a try. True love. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Divine feminine. All right, I'm going to end y'all with some angels of abundance, Divine feminine. Because I ain't going to stretch this no more. Because you get the message at this point. At this point, I'm going to just be singing to y'all. All right. Abundance message for Divine feminine. Thank y'all so much for being here. I hope y'all having a wonderful day. This is for my divine feminine. Ooh, let go of guilt, divine feminine. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Didn't I tell you to shine bright like a star? Didn't I tell y'all that? Holy Spirit, thank you for that confirmation because they needed that reminder. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. I told y'all that. Holy Spirit, thank you so much. Listen to my feminists. I love y'all. Forgive yourself and let go of guilt, okay? I love you. Love yourselves. Be kind to yourselves and others, okay? And if y'all don't do anything else, know that God loves you. I love you, all right? And dream big. Wake up. Do we?